All right, guys, it's Doc here. Let's take a look at a systems of equation style question. Um, honestly, I don't know if this is an EOC style, but let's make sure that we understand how to do it. The ninth graders are hosting the next school dance. They would like to make at least $500. So we know that $500 is the target. Remember, once we know a number, we have to go below and above. So if they want to make at least $500, if they make $499, will they be happy? No. If they make $500, if they want to make at least $500, will they be happy? Yes. If they make $501, will they be happy? Yes. So we know that whatever our equation is, it's going to end in 500, but we need it to be bigger than or equal to 500. The ninth graders estimate that at most 300 students will attend the dance. So now we're going to write our 300, our 299, and our 301. So it says at most 300. So if 299 come, is that expected? Yeah, because the highest will be 300. So yeah, that's okay. If 300 come, well, at most 300, it's like if I have at most $300 on my bank account, I could have 300, so that's true. If I have $301 in my bank account, that's not at most 300, that's more, so that's false. So my next equation is going to be less than or equal to 300. Now, here we're talking about money, and here we're talking about students. So we also have to keep that in mind when we come up with our next ones. So it says they earn $3 for each ticket in advance. So we're going to say, um, and then $4 for each ticket purchased at the door. So we're going to say X equals advanced. And we're going to say Y equals door. Okay. So $3 for each advanced ticket, that's just 3X plus $4 for each Y ticket. And I'm putting it with the 500 because it costs money. $3, $4, $500, dollars $1,000. That's why it goes on that line. Then it says, write a system of inequalities. And then we just have people. So X plus Y is our people. We don't have to do any multipliers because it's either people who bought advanced tickets or people who didn't. So it says, write the system of equations. We just did graph it on the grid, and then it says, suppose only 30 people buy advanced, how many need to get at the door? So now we've written our system, now we're just gonna type it in. 3x plus 4y, use the little calculator keyboard button to get our, is greater than or equal to $500. So I'm gonna zoom out so we see our graph. So we know that the minimum will be 125, Y people or 166.67 so we need to do the 166 because we can't have a partial of a person for the other one. Now we're going to type in our X plus Y is less than or equal to using our keyboard 300 and remember our overlap is correct. The overlap is the true part. So here I could have zero people and 125 all the way up to the 300 okay so that's it it's got to be in the overlap and it can be in the solid line because it's solid <laughs> if it was not or equal to it'd be dotted and then we can count that okay but now it says 300 people get advanced so how many people would need to buy at the door so now I'm just going to say X equals 30. I wrote 300. I meant to say write 30. X equals 30. So what would end up happening is, is notice this dot right here. We would have to have that many people would have to buy it at the door. Okay. So we could have as few as 102. Well, not 102. It'd have to be 103 people and as many as 270 people. All right, so that is how you write a systems of equations. That's how you graph it on the graphing calculator. You wouldn't have anything like this, but just make sure your scale makes sense if you do have to graph it. 
notice here like each box stands for 20 so just make sure your scale makes sense if you had to ever graph it in real life but again we, they would have to have as few as 103 people because you can't have a part of a person and they could have as many as 270 people obviously if they had 30 advanced tickets and 270 they would make the most money because that's a higher number but that is how we do this problem bye guys